The first individual part that we would like to talk about is the main rotor hub pitch horn. Initially, in the prototype, this pitch horn uh, was, was made out, uh, from a steel casting. Uh, we knew that uh, putting that in production was not going to work. It would be just too expensive and too heavy. And uh, our, our whole program here at Eagle R&D uh, revolves around creating these part, parts uh, at half the cost that it would be possible for anyone else to do so. So uh, we had to make the pitch horn as an aluminum casting. And uh, boy, did the red flags go up all over the place there because in order to build this part strong enough to withstand uh, the 2,000 hour fatigue life that is our goal, uh, there was some serious redesign that had to be done. We mentioned earlier that this cross section right through the arm here is where the loadings are the highest. So our engineering consultant modeled this part uh, and then began to do finite element analysis programming on it. And on the first part that we had, uh, we came up with an analysis that showed that the highest loading that we would have in this section uh, was going to be about 6,000 pounds. And that's double what we had to achieve. Uh, we need to be down in the 3,000 pound category so that we have about an 8 to 1 safety factor for this material so that we can achieve that virtually infinite fatigue life, which is uh, where we're the 2,000 hours that we're shooting for. Uh, we modified it a second time uh, and then changed some fillets and radiuses and, and came up with a third. That wasn't good enough came up with a fourth by adding a, a, a wall in a different place. That wasn't good enough. Came up with a fifth by uh, filling it solid in, and that wasn't a very practical uh, uh, method from a casting standpoint. And then we cut out a little section so we could cast it better. That still didn't work. And at the very end, we did finally end up with a configuration that came down to 3,167 pounds. So uh, we modified the pattern for the casting uh, and then uh, went ahead and, and made those castings and uh, tested them as we'll show you. These photos will give you an idea of how we set the pitch horn up for deflection testing. You can see the dial indicator here that we had so we could measure of that amount of deflection. Uh, we actually uh, applied pressure to uh, the pitch link so that we could see the failure mode of the parts. And you can see here in the third photo uh, where we actually bent the rod end uh, in trying to apply that much load. We also bent the attachment bolt. So we uh, easily substantiated the fact that we have achieved this, uh, that we have the safety factor that will allow us to achieve our desired fatigue life. This is the pitch spindle. Um, there's, of course, two of these in the helmet.